In June, I'm doing the London to Brighton bike race in aid of the British Heart Foundation. As it's 50 plus miles, I'm 63 and not particularly fit. I'm doing the sensible thing and getting some training in. Anyway, I've got a ferry to catch, so while I'm crossing the mouth of Pool Harbour, here's a quick reminder of why I'm doing this. Last year, my daughter Alice and her partner Nathan did the ride in the pouring rain. I'm wet. <laughs> Nathan did it in remembrance of his dad and Alice in remembrance of Auntie Janet. Janet was my sister. She was funny, warm, slightly bonkers and played the batty aunt card brilliantly. She loved her family very much, but in September 2022, Completely out of the blue, she was taken from us by a massive brain hemorrhage. However, something good did come out of it. She became an organ donor, and there are people out there who have been given a second chance, which is something that brought us great comfort in the months after she died. The British Heart Foundation was the charity Janet and her husband Pete supported. I decided to do the race this year, partly to prove I could, and partly to raise funds for Janet's charity. After telling me I'm an idiot and having a good laugh, Janet would be proud. So, today's mission, hills, says he riding a flat bit. London to Brighton has got a few, and I like riding on disused railways because they're flat. It's about time I did a bit of practice on hills, so today's ride is a quick jaunt round the downlands of the Isle of Purbeck. First stop, the village of Studland. From here, it's a short walk to Old Harry Rocks on the Jurassic Coast, which guard the entrance to Pool Harbour. My bike nav app tells me you can ride a bike on that path, but frankly, that would be bonkers. And here we go, the first of the hills. So the first hill goes from Studland towards Corf Castle, uphill all the way. Halfway along the downs, there's a cut through, uh, going over the hill, then down into Swanage. That, thankfully, is all downhill. Having got to the top of the gap between the downs, downhill all the way into Swanage. Now that little run down the hillside was lovely. Into Swanage, along the seafront, not stopping for an ice cream. Now the fun starts. Kingston Hill, about five miles of unremitting uphill slog. Thankfully there's a pub at the top. So I made it to Kingston. This is the absolutely glorious Scott Arms and I think it's time for a pint. So top of Kingston Hill, somewhere down there is Corf Castle. I do have a confession to make. I didn't pedal all the way up but I didn't actually do too bad so I think I've earned this. Cheers. So this is a fun bit, downhill into Corf Castle. <laughs> Good luck. Corf Castle, favourite place in the world. I can never get tired of this view. Well, they're all mad. Okay. Through Corf Castle, under the railway viaduct, and onto hill number three. This takes us up to a viewpoint overlooking the golf course and Pool Harbour. And from there, there's a lot of downhill, which is lovely. So this is the top of the viewpoint overlooking Pool Harbour, looking over the Isle of Purbeck, Bournemouth in the distance, Pool Harbour in the distance, mostly downhill from this point. So it's a quick blast downhill through Studland and back over the ferry. Then it's through Sandbanks avoiding the nice sunny day traffic followed by the inevitable walk up Evening Hill and a bit of urban pool to finish. So I'm very nearly home and there should be some ride stats on the screen. So things I've learned today, one most people on the Swanish ferry with a bike have an electric one. Not many people are actually using their feet to sort of like push. 
and two, absolutely nobody looks good in lycra.